Welcome to Alchemia, today we'll be making benzene by decarboxylation reaction. I decided to use 200 grams of sodium benzoate and 120 grams of sodium hydroxide. Oops, um. um here we go. I will put this aside for now. So next I will lay out 120 grams of sodium hydroxide Okay, that is a bit of an overkill, so I will remove a bit, but I have to be quick as well, since sodium hydroxide is very good at absorbing water. Next I will try to crush sodium, uh, these sodium beads into powder. Next, I put all of the sodium hydroxide in the scan uh, where the carboxylation reaction will be proceeding. Now I will transfer sodium benzoate into the same can. I figured I could mix it by closing the can and shaking it. Now that the can was closed, I picked it up. And started shaking it. Here I was trying to seal the adapter with Teflon tape. Then I began assembling apparatus. Anything that could leak would also have to be sealed with Teflon tape.
sweeper started coming over. And here we have our first crude benzene. The orange impurity you can see in it is probably tetracine with some chrysine. We will get rid of them later. This is the product of distillation. Because benzene is clear liquid, we can clearly see that there is some orange contamination. We will need to get rid of this. I washed the benzene several times with tap water. Then I added a drying agent to get rid of any remaining water. After a few days of drying, I decanted everything into a round bottom flask and started the second distillation. And this is the final product, our pure benzene. Thank you everyone for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See you soon!